Hey there YouTube, uh, another quick little video I'm going to do on uh, this Yamaha uh, YZ250F that I'm working on. And this has been a hot topic recently in my teaching at the, at the college. And that has to do with, you know, the basic understanding of air filters. And so I want to sh show you a couple things to be thinking about. So this is a foam filter and these require oil, a special oil, a foam filter oil. You can't use motor oil because it will uh, just run to the bottom. So this one doesn't feel like it has any and it's, it's pretty clean. So it gives me an indication like somebody probably had just serviced it. But here's what you need to do on any of these filters is when we know that the filter is super dirty or in this case wasn't oiled properly I want to make sure and go in the in the air box side on the back of where the carburetor would go and try and see if I have any dirt or it feels like it feels sandy or dusty or whatnot in here because if this is dirty we definitely know that that filter was not doing its job and we have to think of everything else that may have been affected. So like in this case, I had rebuilt the carburetor and I paid a lot of special attention to the slide and then also the, uh, you know, the needle as well because if there was dirt in that intake track, that means that that got sandblasted. And to continue on, this is the whole every mechanic should know this, is you gotta think about if there was dirt in here, that could be a good indication why the valves are tightening up faster than normal or you're, you're seeming like your services or your intervals are being pretty close together. Could just simply be that you are, uh, you know, having the problem of the dirt is basically sandblasting the engine. Does that make sense? So I want you to think about, uh, just in review, every single air filter. So like the students, they start off on these small engines, but it's, it's everything you're gonna do. If I change the air filter in my pickup truck, I go into the air box, you know, wipe it and see, is there anything on what should be the filtered side? If there is, you got to think about everything down track of that throttle bodies, you know, everything that, you know, is going to be exposed to that dirt or dust. Keep wrenching. I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm going to try and get this thing wrapped up uh, and uh, see if uh, I fix this hard starting problem. So make it a great day. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.